I have to step back and guide my children. I have to let the Lord write that testimony in their lives. Yes. It's not about me. She kept making about her. We're in over in this story. So, Brittany, you feel that that because God prophesied to Rebecca about what was going to happen, that clearly he doesn't need her help. And when she inserted herself to force it to happen, that was kind of crossing a line. I wonder what the story would have looked that looked like had she stepped back and let let the Lord work. Yeah. Yeah, it may not have looked her timeline, but yeah. Yeah, one of the details that seems to possibly indicate that is the way the storyteller describes the reason for the uh, favoritism is not because Rebecca is trying to obey God, but because Jacob is a tentish person or whatever. She, he's dwelling by the tents as opposed to, yeah, so that's interesting. And I, I think it's like you were saying, Jeremy, about the favoritism and how often if it's not dealt with and submitted and surrendered to the Lord, it just seems to follow down the family line, um, you know, and just seeing that play out. Um, but yeah, I like you were saying, Brittany, I think it has to do too with um, just submission to our husband, submission to the Lord, submission to our husband. It's like, such a similar thing where there's such a trust involved and not wrestling to like make something happen, you know, and, and trusting the Lord and trusting our husband, you know, as I don't know, that's something I've just been continually learning and growing in. And there's always blessing in it, you know, and it's like, I think at least for me, I feel as a woman, I know when I am like wanting to overstep and there's just like this check you know in my heart like nope like that is the wrong route i will not bless that you know like the lord doesn't bless that so um yeah but i i get it especially if you get a word from the lord and i wonder if she felt like she had to act on it you know like he told her this so that okay, I'm telling you this so you can go do it. You know, I wonder if there was that dynamic for her um, that didn't get resolved in her own heart. Yeah, I think this is very reminiscent of what Sarah did just one generation before. So this is like, this is Rebecca's mother-in-law yeah. who, you know, gave her servant Hagar to Abraham because the promise God had made wasn't happening. And so she intervened and um, there are different scenarios and different people. So I'm not, not saying that they were, their hearts were in the same place, but I'm just curious, you know, we see these women kind of stepping in and intervening and um, maybe messing things up. I don't know. And it, it takes me back to the fall. Um, you know, in Genesis three, part of the curse is not just pain and childbirth, but that we will, our desire will be to rule over our husbands. Really? And um, you see it playing out like a few chapters later in this story in multiple generations. Yeah. 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 It, it seems that maybe another clue that the, another detail the story gives us is that she is totally miserable with her daughter-in-laws, right? So yeah. Esau has married these Hittite women yeah. and Rebecca's like, I want to die. Like... And so she's got a whole plan. And what's interesting is her scheme to create or allow for this crazy rift to happen between Esau and Jacob actually plays into like a larger plan that maybe she has to get Jacob to marry somebody from her own tribe. So how is he going to do that? Well, he's mm -hmm. got to somehow get to her family mm -hmm. and they live, you know, hundreds of miles away. And so he basically this huge rift that's sort of inevitable. I mean, what did you think was going to happen, right? I mean, if you, there's only, there's only a scenario in which he's trying to steal the blessing and then Esau catches him red-handed or he successfully steals the blessing. Either way, Esau is going to want revenge or there's, it's going to create a, a massive rift between the brothers. There's already a huge rift, but it's going to get much worse. And so, mm -hmm. yeah, 
but to your point, April, it does seem like there's a lot of manipulation. Um, mm -hmm. but the narrate, the narrator is, the, uh, is providing for us all kinds of, you know, ways in which this is playing out to, uh, to align with the plans of God. 